I'm straight, so yes, I do. Okay. You know what? You're detained. A YouTuber by the name of Tanner Cook. Well, he runs the YouTube channel Classified Goons, and he pulled a prank that nearly cost him his life when one of the people he was pranking, well, they pulled out a, you know, and a, you know, <laughs> yeah. When one of the people he was pranking, they pulled out a firearm and they decided enough was enough, for real. Now, the real kicker here is that the guy who actually, you know, tried to kill him, well, he didn't even get charged and the courts decided that he was in the right to shoot him because it was self-defense. Yeah, this prankster, he reaches such a low that even people are like, yeah, 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 you deserved it. Now, to be fair, the guy did get in trouble for, you know, using his firearm in a public mall, but this all took place out in Sterling, Virginia. I feel like out there, they're used to this kind of stuff. So this prankster, he obviously grew up watching Nelk videos and he wanted a piece of the action for himself. Now his name is Tanner Cook and he's only about 22 years old, but he's desperate for YouTube fame. He goes out pranking the videos with titles like fake vomiting on Uber drivers, taking people's groceries, trolling Eagles fans, and deliberately filming in people's faces prank. My God, there's an audience for everything. I'd be the most worried about them Eagles fans. They did get a Super Bowl win, but uh, that kid EDPs like their diehard fan. He's like their unofficial mascot. And if that's the type of audience they're pulling in, not the team for me, right? Anyway, when it comes to Tanner Cook's content, rather than being witty and entertaining like Nelk, well, he just comes off like a menace to society. And that's why the kid, well, he just keeps on getting arrested. Now, Tanner has even tried to switch it up and pretend that he's actually the security, but that doesn't work in his favor either. I believe he got arrested doing that as well. Now, one day at his local mall, which is the Dole's Town Center, well, he started approaching people with some audio playing on his iPhone, and people didn't like what he was doing. Now, one of the guys he was pranking was actually a hardworking food delivery dude who just had enough of Tanner's shit. He told him to stop. He tried to get away from him, but Tanner wouldn't go away. So that's when the guy pulled out his firearm and shot the kid in the stomach. Now, we can't show you the footage of this because it'll get this whole account shut down. Down, but it happened in plain daylight boom right to the body now in a surprising twist well people on social media as well as the judicial system well they were actually on the shooter's side they were saying that this kid he actually got what he deserved now unfortunately for the shooter he was still found guilty for shooting in an occupied dwelling and he could face as many as 10 years now this guy you know he's just trying to get by he's delivering people fast food and now he's got to spend time behind bars all because tanner wouldn't leave him the f alone. Meanwhile, Tanner Cook, well, he healed from his injuries, and it wasn't long before he was up to his old tricks, back out trolling people for his YouTube channel. Now, he has been arrested multiple times, and uh, the cops, they're sick of his shit. The local authorities have stated that they're well aware of this kid and his antics, so basically, anytime he pops up, they're quick to arrest. They're sick of what he's doing. Now, my advice to Tanner, if he's watching this video, you gotta take the show on the road. Look back at the early days of Nelk. These guys were carpooling all over North America, so the authorities couldn't keep up with them. You can't stick around the same town for too long because the gig is up. <laughs> you can't stick around the same town for too long because the jig is up. Seriously, though, this kid, he really should uh, figure something out because he's going to end up in prison or back in the hospital or maybe even the more. Do you think it's worth it? Online clout for uh, risking your life or perhaps it's his style of video. Maybe you should come up with something a little bit better that doesn't piss off people, piss off the cops and cost him his life. Am I right? Let me know what you think in the comments down below.